Hello again, welcome back. I'm just here spending some time with my animals before Christmas comes. Sometimes it is just so peaceful to sit out here and watch all of the animals. It brings me joy to take care of them and they love me so much. It is exciting to keep their place tidy and I get excited watching them come inside and be so happy resting in the clean straw. It just is peaceful out here today. In fact, it reminds me of the next part of our story. Are you guys ready to hear it? Here we go. As the day turned to evening, when chaos would normally be turning down, there was still so much in excitement and movement in the stable. The animals and guests were busy tending to the baby king. But alone up in the rafters was a dove. She had flown for days to get here to see this king, to experience the joy that this baby would bring everyone. But now here she sat and she was all alone and wondering what she had to offer the king. How could she celebrate him? She had watched the cow prepare the space for him day after day in anticipation of providing the best space for this king to be born. She had seen the ram offer his coat for warmth in the cool night air, and saw how silly he must have felt when he, shaved his, when he was shaved down to his skin. But what an honor that it was for his wool to provide warmth and comfort for the king. She had watched the donkey travel for house, getting the parents of the king to this safe and sacred space. And now he laid proudly beside the manger, resting from his long journey. But all the dove wanted was a gift to share that was even as remotely as grand as the others had. But what could she give? Hmm. She was thinking, I can't share my feathers because they're much too small and he's warm anyways from the ram's bowl. I can't put him on my back because I'm much too small for that. But my voice. And so the dove began to coo a lullaby. And below her spot in the rafters, the excitement started to settle as she cooed louder and louder. And everyone looked up to this beautiful song coming from above. Baby Jesus closed his eyes and he went to sleep. And the animals all became calm and they went from standing and pacing to a settled, stretched out position. And Mary and Joseph settled back in the hay, looking at their precious baby and resting in peace. For the first time since they had arrived, everyone was calm and at peace. You see, the dove ended up giving the best gift of all, those moments of peace. She shared her song and it brought a calmness to the evening and a peace that he was here and all would be well. The dove searched for her perfect gift friends, one that would be fit for a king. But what she found was she had the perfect gift all along, the gift of peace shared through her talents, through her voice. It's interesting to me that the dove is actually a symbol of peace all throughout the Bible. If we think back all the way to Noah's Ark, Noah sent a dove out to check on the lands and the state of things. And after the dove's second trip, he came back with a branch showing that water had been receded and that peace was restored in Noah's family and life. I also think it could have been a little peaceful for them to finally get off that boat with all those noisy and smelly animals. But I bet friends, that dove in our story today, he had no idea of the peace that she would bring to that messy chaotic stable. But better yet, the symbol of peace that she would live on to be for thousands of years later. Our dove taught us two things. One is that God doesn't require from us grand gifts. He asks us to simply share what we have. And better yet, friends, he asks us to share the gifts that he's already given us. Because when we share the gifts that God has given us, we can share his love in ways that will change the world around us. And the second thing the dove teaches us is that even when we feel that we are lesser than, we are not. The gifts and the talents that God has given us are more than enough to share with the world to do great things. 
You see, when we trust that God is who He says He is, His light lives inside of us. And that light we can share with others around us all the time. It's the light that shares hope with others, that creates anticipation of really great things to come. It's the light that brings joy to people's life, that offers support and comfort and tells others that they are not alone. It's the light that brings peace to people when it feels unreachable or chaotic. And it's the light that shares a love that is so incredible, that is so unconditional and filled with grace. It's a love that will live on for generation after generation. So friends, when you see the dove this Christmas season, let it be a reminder to you to share the gifts that God has given to you, no matter how small, and let his light shine through you so that others can experience God in new and amazing ways this Christmas season. Merry Christmas. Well, what a great ending to our story. The dove brought the most beautiful gift, the gift of peace. I know what that feels like sitting here watching the animals settle in. It is so peaceful. I'll tell you what, Pull your devotional card and your gift labeled peace out of your box. Go ahead and open that gift and let's see what it is. A dove, a little dove may look insignificant compared to our other animals and their great gifts. But what a great big gift she brought to the stable that night. That peace that was felt was a peace we can experience through Jesus. You guys can put that dove in front of your nativity set at home as a reminder of the peace you can have this season from Jesus. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. Y'all have a great week and remember the peace of Jesus is for everyone.